waiting to go to the Big Apple announcement uh, later on this morning. I believe it's at 12 noon Calgary time. And Mike, last time we chatted, you were talking about rumors uh, revolving around two possible new iPhones coming down today. And you also want to tell us about a possible iWatch. Yeah, there's a lot of excitement about uh, what's possibly going to happen this morning. Uh, one, of course, is those those iPhones that we talked about, Ted, uh, two different versions. Uh, but the other thing is this possible wearable technology device, uh, possibly an iWatch. All rumors are leading towards something like that. Uh, a photo leaked yesterday. I don't know if it's legit or not, but we can bring it up. We can talk a little bit about it. Um, Yahoo News claims this is it. This is the new iPhone watch or the iWatch that's going to be unveiled today. Um, it looks a little kind of, uh, I don't know, it, it, apparently it's flexible. It looks round like a bracelet, right? Uh, but apparently it has, does have a flexible display. Not many details on that, but I've got to tell you, Ted, I can't remember an Apple announcement that has been so much hype and so much excitement around it uh, compared to this one. Even an Apple exec, Eddie Q, a well-known Apple exec, he said a couple months ago that this is the most exciting product lineup in 25 years for Apple. Uh, so th it, it makes you wonder, something else has to come down today, not just iPhones. Is it an iWatch or is it something completely different? Uh, it's hard to say, but there's... I've got to tell you, I've never seen even press so um, excited about something that's going to come down today from Apple. So I think they've got something up their sleeve. Uh, they're being sneaky, and I am excited that it hasn't been leaked out yet. They're being coy. Good stuff. Our Mike Yanni talking to us live from Cupertino, California. Mike counting down to 11 a.m. California time, Pacific Standard. Uh, of course, 12 noon is when it comes down Calgary time.